Hello friends, welcome to a new video on Karate UI automation series. In this video, uh, I'll be showing how can you handle a dynamic web element locators. So, so far we learned how can we write only uh, locators with a uh, hard-coded data, right? Contains of some text, I mean with hard-coded data. But in this video, I'll be showing how can you uh, write a dynamic locator or dynamic xpath uh, as per your inputs okay so based on the input your output may change so you may have to follow the dynamic locators right so this video i'll be showing how can you write that so uh, i'm showing you an example with the site i've opened selenum easy.com site okay so first time when you open uh, we are getting a pop-up so i'm just clicking on no thanks button and this is the test case that we are going to automate. So if we put any uh, message here, uh, let's say hello. And if you click show message, we are getting hello, right? And if you put something else, and if you click on show message button, we are getting hi, right? So based on the input that we gave, our output locator's content also will change. Okay, so this is the test case that we are going to automate now. Okay, so let's go to the video. So I have uh, written a dynamics locator dot feature file here. I'm hitting the same URL selenium So first time when we hit, we will be getting that. Uh, okay. I'm maximizing the window and then waiting for that pop up. So pop up has two messages, right? Uh, um, two buttons, right? A subscribe button and a no thanks button. So I'm waiting for the no thanks button and whenever it is available, I'm clicking on that button, right? Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to uh, inspect this particular input field, this text box, right? And then next show message we need to click. So let's write a, uh, let's find out the uh, XPath or CSS select or any other locators for this two fields. Let me just inspect it. Okay, it has an ID field. So we can directly give wait for and if you're locating with ID, we can use hash, right? And just give the uh, ID name that is uh, user message. And now next we need to input our data for that. We can give, okay, given, let me just give when and wait for when click and wait for and uh, next is input function right to input something and input of you need to give this Uma hello next is we need to click the show message button for that we can take uh, the text xpath button text equal to show message so first we'll wait for it's always better you wait for any web element before you do any action on that element okay so i'm just waiting for that element and then uh, we can click and click So once we click on that element, we will get what hello, right? So let's try it. Hello. So this should be something span ID equal to display. We can give X path like this span ID equal to display having the text. Hello. So we'll just wait for the element and we will uh, do the assertion. So we can do the assertions by waiting for the expected element as well, right? So this is what our test case. Now let's run it and we'll see if it works.
it will hit the browser so we are doing chrome driver okay we are choosing chrome driver and it will click now thanks button it's actually passed but we did not see anything right so what we can do uh, let's give some weight start delay of um, some 5 seconds okay also we can give something here also some 2 seconds we'll run it again and I will manually scroll down for now so that you can see the message getting printed right so hello and we got hello also it will wait for five seconds and it will close the browser right so here actually we are hard coding the data right we are hard coding the data in the input message and also the output selector also so this will be keep on changing based on our input right so we need to dynamically handle this one for that what we can do uh, i've created a separate json file that is uh, data.json and i've given a field called message and i gave the value hello okay we can give any message hello now what we knew we are, what we are doing we are taking the data from the data.json and we'll uh, give it to our uh, dynamics locator dot feature for that first we need to read our data dot json file right so let's read it we can read the data using this format star df data root of since it is in the same level we can give data dot json right so we have uh, the data dot json content in now in this particular variable data variable now using this data dot we can access our message so here instead of hello you can give data dot message message is nothing but this uh, attribute name right key value here next is this particular place right so how can we concatenate the string so we can give double quote again a plus symbol again a plus symbol then again a double quotes and in between this uh, plus symbols we need to give a data dot message now in order to confirm we can print out this data as well our uh, message is equal to let's print out this x path then print messages message now let's run it So everything should work as it is. So it will click on hello. It will wait for hello message. How it is? Yes, it has worked, right? We can see the output console. The test case is passed and we'll see the output. See? we are printing the message that is xpath right span id equal to display and text is equal to hello only so this is how you can pass the data from the external file and you can uh, write your dynamics web element locator hope you have enjoyed this video if so please click the like button also please do subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed yet we will see in our next video thanks for watching bye thank you